My name is Phil Ledent, and today's Masonry Minute is brought to us by the Masonry Institute of Michigan and the Upstate Masonry Institute in New York. And today we're going to cover the question, does it matter if truss type or ladder type horizontal joint reinforcement is used in CMU construction? And we have shown below a graphic of ladder type joint reinforcement on the left and our truss type joint reinforcement on the right. And to answer that question, I'm going to reference a TMS response article, and this comes out of volume 18, number one, which was published in January of 2020. And this TMS response article talks about using truss type and ladder type joint reinforcement. And it says specifically, our TMS 602 specification for masonry structures states that where vertical reinforcement is present in a masonry wall, location of truss type joint reinforcement may conflict with our vertical reinforcement. It states that in our commentary. And so we're ladder type joint reinforcement with cross wires welded at 16 inches on center is placed. So our cross wires are located on top of our webs. None of our cross wires will pass over the cells of our block. As a result, there will be no interferences for placing our vertical bars, the grout and or insulation in our cells of our block. Some manufacturers do make joint reinforcement with cross wires spaced at less than 16 inches on center, and that is also undesirable. With truss type joint reinforcement, diagonal cross wire passes over our cell of our block, and it could interfere with placing our vertical bars. And so to solve this problem, the mason contractor typically just cuts that diagonal wire, and our diagonal wires also collect mortar droppings as the masonry units are laid, which results in obstructions that could interfere with our mechanical consolidation and reconsolidation of our grout. And so their recommendation in this TMS response article is for these reasons, ladder type joint reinforcement is preferred over truss type in masonry that includes vertical reinforcing bars in concrete masonry that contains no vertical reinforcement, which is pretty rare today, truss type joint reinforcement is preferred. We can see that in these diagrams here on the right. So for ladder type joint reinforcement, where our cross wires are located at 16 inches on center, they will be located on top of our webs of our unit and they will not conflict with our vertical reinforcing bars. If we have an unreinforced masonry wall, then this tr truss type joint reinforcement would be preferred. And so to answer today's masonry minute question, does it matter? Yes, it does. And for vertically reinforced walls, typically we are going to be using ladder type joint reinforcement. And that is most of the walls that we see being built today. If we have unreinforced masonry, truss type joint reinforcement would be appropriate. So hopefully that answers our question of the day. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out. Thank you for joining.